Day one of the 2024 British and Irish Cup is in the bag and it is as finely poised as we thought it was going to be. Ireland are leading in four categories and Great Britain in three with one tied category. Ireland's lead is in women's masters and men's masters where their margin is one game to nil and mixed open and men's seniors where they're leading two games to nil. So already at match point in those categories going into day two. Great Britain's three categories are Women's Open, where they have a 2-0 lead, and then Women's Seniors and Men's Open, where we lead by 1-0. The drawn category at the moment is Mixed Seniors, one game apiece, and earlier on we caught up with two of their key players. The Mixed Seniors category is the closest one of the day at uh, the British and Irish Cup so far. Great Britain won game one 11-4, and then so narrowly lost game two 5-4 at the end of the day here. I'm joined by Captain Ronan Farrell and Anita Snowden. Uh, and guys, what I want to hear about first of all is just to be taken back through that first game when GB scored an incredible run of tries to get that massive win. Yeah, uh, it was really good first game. I think it was mentioned on commentary that we were slow starters against uh, Ireland. Uh, thanks for that, Will. But uh, yeah, with 3 0 down at half time, we played into the breeze, so we knew we could kind of put up a score in the second half. Said it was a five point breeze, managed to score 11. So um, yeah, really well controlled. Well controlled in the first half as well, I think just a little unlucky to go into half time 3 0 down. But yeah, very happy with the, the first game. There were a lot of try scorers in that one, Neats, you were amongst them. Uh, obviously, Kat Lindsay got a couple as well. Talk, talk us through some of those. Yeah, Kat got a couple of really good ones. I think both of us passes from row but just hit a hard line and then Mills got a really good try on debut as well yeah so 1-1 one, one as you go into uh, the evening break so that means basically starting from uh, from kind of zero again tomorrow all to play for in a three tests how does uh, that score line overnight uh, change your preparation going into day two yeah they might be different for for both of us but having gone into the last three BNIs two down uh, after day one this is the best position we've been in and it's the best we've played as well so um excited for tomorrow like you say we'll we'll start from scratch um but huge positives to take from today yeah and we'll uh, we'll start on the right foot in the morning hopefully of course Neats, you're more used to leading at the end of day one because <laughs> yeah. you've obviously been in the women's <laughs> open side the last few years yeah. this is the first time that the two of you have shared the pitch in a GB singlet. So uh, how does it feel as, a, as an engaged couple to uh, be on the international stage together? Yeah, I mean, there's still two weeks till the wedding, so anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it feels good. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we, play, we play together so often that it, it just kind of, it works. And I think you can see that on the field. So um, yeah, excited to get going again. Thanks, Ronan, and thanks, Anita, for that insight. So as a reminder, it is Ireland 4, Great Britain 3 on categories at the moment, with all of them to be decided tomorrow on Sunday at University College Dublin. We will, of course, be bringing you all the matches on the live stream, as well as updating you on social media through the day. Things kick off at 10.30. The game on pitch one that we bring, be bringing you is men's masters, and we'll go all the way through to the end of the day, finishing once again with mixed open at 5 30 we hope you can join us for that follow along on social media and most important of all support our great britain teams as they look to retain the british and irish cup